San Francisco, in partnership with Caltrain, is planning for the future of the railroad corridor in the city. There are many moving pieces under consideration, including building a new train tunnel under Pennsylvania Avenue, rebuilding the 22nd Street Station, constructing a new station in the Bayview. These decisions build on improvements projects already underway, including electrification of the Caltrain corridor all the way down to San Jose, and a tunnel to extend Caltrain to the Salesforce Transit Center in Soma. This video starts with background information on the rail corridor, then covers the current and potential future rail projects, including the need for and options for new stations. I'll end by sharing how you can provide input. The rail corridor in San Francisco is part of a larger rail corridor that runs all the way to San Jose and into Santa Clara County. The San Francisco segment runs along the 101 freeway through the Bayview, parallels the 280 freeway through Dogpatch Potrero in Mission Bay, and terminates at the 4th and King Station in Soma. In addition to 4th and King, San Francisco has two other existing stations, one at 22nd Street between Potrero Hill and the Dogpatch, and a second called Bayshore, right uh, on the city boundary with Brisbane. Both freight trains and Caltrain passenger trains use the corridor. Freight trains deliver and receive shipments at the Port of San Francisco. Part of what makes the corridor unique is its history. There have been passenger rail service on the corridor for more than 150 years. In the 1880s, before train service, it took three days to get from San Francisco to San Jose. The system we know today as Caltrain had its start in 1992 when San Francisco, San Mateo, and Santa Clara counties took over the operation of the train. Caltrain currently operates on a regional rail service running 104 trains per day with 31 stations. Previously, Caltrain had a station in the Bayview neighborhood at Paul Avenue. The station was closed in 2005 due to low ridership. It's an exciting time for the railroad. In 2017, Caltrain broke ground on their electrification project, which will electrify the system from San Francisco to San Jose. The new system will feature new electric trains and infrastructure that provides power to the system. Caltrain electrification will improve Caltrain system performance and curtail long-term environmental impacts by reducing noise, improving regional air quality, and lowering greenhouse gas emissions. In 2019, the Caltrain board adopted a 2040 service vision. Even in these uncertain times, it is still the long-term roadmap for the railroad to expand and meet the future mobility needs of the region. The vision includes the planned extension of the sales for, to the Salesforce Transit Center in downtown San Francisco and higher frequency electrified service that would allow ridership to grow 180,000 daily riders. This would be the equivalent of eliminating 825,000 car trips and 110 metric tons of carbon emissions every day and would put an estimated 5.5 lanes worth of commuter traffic onto Caltrain instead of on the region's highways. Two major changes are coming to the corridor in the next decade. First, California High Speed Rail will provide a three-hour train connection between Los Angeles and San Francisco. The northern and southern segments of the high-speed rail system will blend with regional and local operations. The blended system in the northern segment will run between San Francisco and San Jose. This segment will support modernized Caltrain service and high-speed rail service, primarily on shared tracks within the existing Caltrain corridor. Second, the Downtown Extension, or DTX, will tunnel new tracks underground from 4th and King Station to deliver both Caltrain and high-speed rail passengers to the Salesforce Transit Center in downtown San Francisco. Pennsylvania Avenue Extension, or PAX, project will construct a new tunnel for Caltrain and future high-speed rail in order to eliminate conflicts with rail and other street uses at 16th Street and Mission Bay Drive. The PAX tunnel will connect directly to the downtown rail extension and the new 4th and Townsend Station. Preliminary planning for the PAX is underway with an environmental review process to be initiated in the future. 
The combination of eight Caltrain trains and four high-speed rail trains per hour means 12 trains per hour in each direction. More frequent trains means less time for people to cross the corridor on foot, on bike, car, or bus. Most of the corridor in San Francisco is already separated from street level in tunnels and on bridges, but one section of the corridor is at street level. Between 4th and King Station and about 17th Street, the tracks are at street level. There are two railroad crossings, one at Mission Bay Drive and one at 16th Street. Without the PAX tunnel, traffic and transit at these crossings would become so congested that this section of the corridor would become virtually impassable and Mission Bay would be cut off from the rest of the city. Moving the tracks to fit the new PAX tunnel may require construction of a new station to replace 22nd Street, and the best place might not be right at 22nd Street, but somewhere else in the stretch between 16th Street and Cesar Chavez. The city is also looking to restore service to the Bayview since the closure of the Paul Avenue station in 2005. The desire for a new station was most recently confirmed by the local community in the Bayview Community-Based Transportation Plan, completed in 2020. If and when these stations are built, they have to work together. This is why we are studying them together. Engineering studies were done to identify all possible station options. The study considered track geometry, can't build a station on a curb, physical barriers like hills and creeks, and distance between stations. The study revealed six possible locations in the study center. These locations are shown here based on the nearest cross street. They are Mariposa, 22nd Street, Cesar Chavez, Evans, Oakdale, and Williams. Now that we all understand the basics of the projects to plan new Southeast rail stations, please mark your calendars to join us at our next round of meetings where we will go more in depth on the station options and get your feedback. We hope you, your friends, families, and neighbors will join us either on Thursday, November 4th at 6 p.m. or Saturday, November 6th at 12 p.m. to continue this conversation. Both of those meetings will cover the same in-depth information and they will have Chinese and Spanish interpretation available. In the meantime, if you have questions, comments, or concerns for the project team, please visit uh, www.sfplanning.org slash S-E-R-S-S -S, or email cpc.serss at sfgov.org. Thanks for participating.